Hey guys, we're here at the largest castle in the Netherlands, Castle de Har, and we are going to go explore inside, outside, and all around of this castle today. Now my rose garden prone. So we're outside of Utrecht? In Harzulen? Sure. Harzulen? From what I could tell, the village name was a like a mashup of the two families that have had ownership or laid claim to the castle. Looked like that to me. Had control of it, whatever. Completely accurate facts, only on our vlog for you. Have bugs in my eye. Summer is hanging on here in the Netherlands into September. I think this might be the last day though. I know we always talk about the weather on this channel, but like, I think we're trying to hang on to a little bit more of summer before it gets dark and cold and wintry. By the time this video posts, it's probably gonna be dark and cold and wintry. I think it starts tomorrow actually, so <laughs> wish us luck. We've been wanting to come to one of the castles here in the Netherlands for quite a while. We have our museum cards, they get us in for no extra charge, which is nice. And we came to the biggest one. Now it's a bee. Oh no. There's a big bee by your head. This garden area is like a maze for like really, really short people or like mice or something. What's that quote from Zoolander? You know where he's talking about the library at the end? He's like, it's a library for really, really small people or something. Look at this old car. Whoa. So I feel like a requirement for all castles should be a moat. Like I feel like you're not a real castle unless there's a moat that goes all the way around to guard said castle from predators and dragons and pillagers. Backers. All of that. The French. Definitely the French. This has like a half moat, so like I give it points, but it doesn't go all the way around the ground. So like, come on guys, like put some effort into it. Just kidding. It's nice. I almost tripped. <laughs> here at the castle. Do we have a nemesis everywhere that we go? I'm kind of that guy. I always don't like somebody and there's this one lady here. She's in a yellow skirt. Well, tell them why you don't like her. She's incredibly loud. She has no filter. She keeps walking in front of me. I was trying to take a cool cinematic shot for you guys of flowers with the castle behind it and she literally saw me and walked right in front of me to take a picture of the flowers. And just everywhere I go, she's there. I can't escape her. Touching parts of the castle they're probably not supposed to, and walking where they're not supposed to. Oh yeah, to. that's gonna be a great photo. Put that on okay. your Facebook. So they do speak English, so be careful what you say in here then. I don't care, I ain't scared. <laughs> So we're gonna start the tour, and apparently it starts downstairs in the dungeon. There's 300 rooms in this castle. 30 bathrooms, what did I say? I'll have to check on the bathrooms for you, but there's a lot. Downstairs. Here's your room right here. It's where you get to sit and think about what you've done. All I'm thinking about. <laughs> Usually you exit through the gift shop, but here we're entering through the gift shop. These are tiles that I would see in like my grandma's kitchen in like the 80s, but these are probably from like the 1880s. Tulips? Of course. Apricots. Could be apricots. Apricots or apricots? I'd say apricots. It's really pretty. First room, very nice.
That's quite the stork. I like that. I like lamps that are art pieces as well. Did you see the giant pool table? That was not a normal pool table. That was some sort of like snooker Dutch dinner time game table billiards. I don't even know. I want to play though, but they won't let me. So I feel like I'm in the haunted mansion. It's dark, kind of smells like the haunted mansion. A lot of old stuff in here, but it's cool. I like it. I like the vibe. It's like the biggest fireplace I think I've ever seen. It's really cool. I think these are the coat of arms of the two families in here. So now we've moved on from it being a haunted mansion to a game of Clue. I feel like this is a real life Clue game because we're in the salon right now. Although I think in Clue there wasn't a salon. There's candlesticks around here and there's probably a murderer too. Not really, maybe. It's probably know. the lady in the yellow skirt. It's definitely the lady in the mosquito. I'll trade my pawn for that. It's your own piece, Katrina. I think I'm actually more impressed by how many fireplaces there are in this castle than how many bathrooms there are. Because there's 30 bathrooms. 30 bathrooms. And 200 rooms. Dang. But we can only go in like 20 of them. How many fireplaces? Infinity. It's a lot of fireplaces. So they're playing poker or cards in there. We just played chess. You don't know how to move the pieces apparently. I could so beat you at chess. Is that a challenge? I also beat him at Mario Kart. Stop it. Everybody no, no. Why is so? I don't even know how to say his name. So there's been a lot of famous people that have been guests here. Bridget Bardot, Coco Chanel, who you may have heard about. Roger Moore. Isn't he like a good looking man from- James Bond. James Bond. Gregory Peck. <laughs> I only know that because they made a reference to him in Sex and the City. You got any of that fresh air around here? Ugh. I'm guessing they don't have air conditioning or central heating in a castle from the 1800s. But they have gigantic fireplaces to stay warm, so. Ah, good point. Did we mention that the family stays here for one month? The family, well, the family doesn't own it anymore. Now it's in like a trust or something of the Dehar family the living relatives of the people who used to own it because it's changed hands multiple times. They get to come here once a year for one month in September, which is right now. So they could be right above us right now. We don't even know. And another fireplace on your right. These fireplaces are so big, I feel like you could just like... Throw people in them? I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. Well, I mean, think about it. What, like back in the, what, 1300s? When this was, 1391 was when it was first, Yeah. they think is when it was first built. This is the rebuilt version that was um, reconstructed in the late 1800s. I don't know, it had been left to ruin and it had been attacked and burned down. The French like tore it down once, gotta watch out for those French. Let's be real though, in the late 1800s, it was still the wild, wild west. They, they wild burned- Western Europe. They burned people in their fireplaces, I'm sure. Right? Don't listen to her. Look how big it is. I'm just like, there's my whole family in there. Like, oh no. I'm sorry. Oh no. Help me. No. You don't know. I need more context here. There's not a lot of like information. So I'm just starting to make up stories like being burned in fireplaces. It's either like a little carriage for a baby or what did you say? A hearse. It's getting pretty dark in this room. Jesus. You know what one of my takeaways is here, Katrina? Things are small. But did the Dutch just get really tall in like the last 130 years? Because yeah, things seem short in well, here. Well, you know, evolution, but no, not in the last 130 years. Pretty quick. In the last million years. Hey. Oh no. Do I push him? Should I push one? No, like seriously. Like, should I push one? What do you think it does? I do not think you should push those buttons. Then why wouldn't they have it covered and say like, do not touch? Uh, cause there's no rules. I'm not gonna 
gonna do it. I'm not gonna get kicked out of this castle. We haven't even gone upstairs yet. They're two different colors too. It's like red pill, blue pill. Oh well. Be in everyone's photo. Do a peace sign. I smell like plastic. Love me some stained glass. Why do people keep touching things? It says don't touch. I think it's like a, I don't know, it's a compulsive thing that I think some people have where it's just like... It's like suits of armor. They're cool. I, I would kind of like to touch them, but the sign says don't touch. We're in a historical castle. Don't touch the stuff. And why do you need to touch it? I want to touch it. Because you're a little kid at heart. But I know better, because if everyone touches it, then there's grossness on everything all the time. Yes. So don't touch it. Yeah. dress up fancy like this. I, you know, I don't have a good answer for that. Mm -hmm. You wanna go to like adult prom or something? Yeah, as long as I don't have to dance. This says no touch. So I'm not gonna touch them to confirm that they're fake. I'm gonna look with my eyes and confirm it. Is that to like beat people? I think you, you hit the like pillows and stuff, right? You get the dust and stuff off of them like I would have to do what she just did. It's an alligator. Um, it's been turned into a barometer. I thought it was a clock when I first saw it, but it's a barometer. Like, dang, flat alligator barometer. Do they have alligators in the Netherlands? This must be a gift from like the king of Florida or something. Oh, oh. For the people they don't like, they put them in this room because there's no fireplace and a very sad, tiny bed. I bet Roger Moore wasn't staying in this room. So not only is this bedroom as big as like almost our entire apartment, it has two fireplaces in one bedroom. Two gigantic fireplaces. That match. I like that they match. I like that they match too. This is like life goals. I want a castle with a bedroom with two fireplaces. I mean, you have to have goals. I don't need to be a baron. I just need a castle. Well, I don't think you can be a baron. I can be whatever I want to be. I wonder how many people hit their heads on that. Yeah. I was hoping that we'd get to see the kitchen. I'm excited. Look at all this, these copper pots, though. I think they have one of the biggest collection of copper pots, definitely in the Netherlands, if not maybe in the world. It's based on no facts. That's just what I think. Yeah, you can see on some of the ones that might need to be polished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be polished. Yeah, yeah. They still look really nice. I kind of like how they could have turned different colors like that. Yeah, it's nice. Look at that. I think one of the best things about museums, castles like this that are basically museums, is you can learn history of the place you are in a very, you know, three-dimensional interactive way. Instead of just like reading it on the internet or on Wikipedia, you actually see it right in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty nice to look at. So are you. She sets me up to say that. I know she does it on purpose. Uh, yeah, there's deer in front of us. Yeah, but you can't like... I got them fenced off. Would well, you want to ride the deer? Like, what do you? I mean, look at all the people that were touching shit in there that said "do not touch." Can you imagine if these weren't fenced off? I mean, they'd take off number one, but like, people would just be like, 
You can touch me. <laughs> My dear. If I had been told there was a deer park and there were deer, I would have brought deer treats to give them because these deer love me and I love them, but I did not know, so I'm unprepared. Wow. He's like both really big and cool, but also very small. These are like small deer. His name is John. Yeah, John Deer. <laughs> yes, I got her. This one's name is Jan. Jan D. Hey Jan, it's all good. I like this one because of his spots. The other guys are a little too like masculine. This one's a little more innocent and sweet. If I lived a little bit closer, I would come here and see those deer every day. Would you? Not every day, but like occasionally, you know, on holidays and things. <laughs> he looks happy. He looks like Beethoven. He's got like the long like wig it looks like on. Most of these statues are usually unhappy, so it's like nice to see one that's got dead eyes but is happy. Is that what Beethoven looked like? Yeah. He's got the wig. It does look like you could walk on it though, doesn't it? I think it'd be funny if like a child was running here, messing around like they're not supposed to and just like ran right out on this because they think it's grass. Look, you can see it moving though right now when you stop. Like, oh yeah, it is moving. It is some sort of algae or some sort of growth just on top of the water. Weird. Oh, there's swans down in it. Yeah. Are they getting all green? Oh, probably. Oh, let's go see the swans. Swans love me. Do they? I don't know if swans love anybody. Swans are funny because they're gorgeous animals on top, but their feet are like monster feet. It's like some prehistoric gross looking webbed monster claw to swim in the water. Don't shake your butt at me. Well, at least we know they love me. These are quite the grounds. This is a beautiful place. And we're not even, I think, going to walk around half of it. Like, this place is pretty big. I thought I loved mazes, but then we went to the highest point in the Netherlands, and we went to that labyrinth, and we got lost. So I guess we just live here now? <laughs> you said die here now. Well, I mean, eventually I'll die here. I'm stuck. I cannot get out of this maze. And it took a long, long time to get out of there. Way too long, and it was super hot. And I was hungry and hot, and I am not getting lost again right now in a maze because I'm hungry. But we finished it. We, we made it to the end of that labyrinth. To the middle. We got to the middle. Labyrinth, middle, maze, exit. Right. They're not going to get me today, though. Well, the fry stand is not open because we're I guess, slightly out of season here. I had a good time at Castle de Har. That was really pretty. You could spend a lot of time here. Maybe bring your lunch, because we saw a lot of people kind of eating little picnics. Awesome area for a picnic. Biggest castle in the Netherlands. Hugest. You should come here. You should come do this castle. Come explore it for yourself. Don't touch stuff. Mm -hmm.